Tell me about the face tracking system. Hi, so um, this is my face detection and tracking system project. Um, everything here was implemented in hardware and calculation was um, done in real time. So, so this is FPGA hardware, but This right. is FPGA hardware and the language um, was written, was used uh, very long. And, and the input now is coming from this video camera over here, right? Yeah. And, okay. And so the camera is pointing at you, and now I'll point at the screen. So, the, and the steps in the processing were, were first to detect skin color, is that yes. right? So, um, first of all, um, I used thresholding to get the skin pixels. And oh. as you can see, there's a lot of noise from background. Because there's a lot of lot of things that are almost skin colored in the scene. Yeah. Like 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 the like the red on your sweatshirt and and various pink things in the background. Yeah. Now, what else did you do? So after that, to eliminate the noise, I use um, spatial a uh, spatial filter. So so, the, so this okay. So this gets rid of the little stuff. Yeah. So to get to this step, I for every pixel, I look at the neighboring pixels, and if seventy-five percent of the neighboring pixels is also skin pixels, that means that pixel is skin. Otherwise, okay. it's just background. Okay. Because if you can see here for background, it's not there's not a lot of skin pixels around it. Mm -hmm. And then I applied. Um, temporal filtering so um, because earlier the oops, this one because earlier the um, output is not very stable so I check for um, I pretty much I average for consecutive frames mm -hmm. if <clears throat> um, and so it had to be true in a certain number of frames. You yeah. had to be had to be had to be skin pixels in a certain number of frames. Now the red dot we see floating on there is the centroid, the calculated centroid yeah. of the skin color. Yes. All right. And so as as you move back and forth now, you can see that that tracks your head quite well. Yeah. And it's independent of size and all kinds of, uh, I mean, independent of the geometry to a large extent. Mm -hmm. All right. Now if I slide into the frame here. Now, now we're tracking two people, and and how did you decide? How did you decide how to track two people? So, if I apply the same algorithm that I had before, then when there are two people, the centroid is just gonna be like in the middle. And we can do that if I if I move over something. If you if you if I put a hand over you or something like yeah. that, then we get a centroid in the center. Yeah. So okay. I um, based on that. That location, I divided the screen into half or almost half, and in each half, I calculated the centroid for the um, detected pixel mm -hmm. separately. Mm -hmm. So, so that w with some with some uh, some limitations, you can calculate two people. If the two people were standing over one another, that wouldn't work. But people are usually side by side, yeah. so that it does work. Yeah. So this is based on the assumption that, let's say, when you watch TV, you tend to sit like next to the other person, right. not like above or below. Well, and and now for you say for walk, watching TV, so you see an application of this then as as tracking the person's head for for say 3D analysis or for for better perspective than in, in watching television. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else do you see it used for? Well, when I started, I thought that this, um, I found this specific application was very interesting. It mm -hmm. helped to uh, um, save the energy, let's say mm -hmm. when you're watching TV, and uh -huh. you're not directly, look if you're not directly looking at a TV, then the, if the camera does like if the system doesn't detect your face, then the brightness of the TV is going to be reduced. Ah, uh, that's right. So, so that you you walk away, it doesn't find a face, and it and so it turns itself off. Now get out of the screen, get out of the frame, then, 
And so, so if you're out of the frame, in fact, there is no detection. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I put a, enough mass of arm into the frame, then then we then it gets a detection. Or if I slide my face into the frame, then we get a detection, and the yeah. detection goes away. So it's it's working as as you planned. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Thank you.